Greetings, cherished listeners. Welcome to Hymxhortation, the podcast where hymns become a guide for the soul. I'm Olani Oluwatobi Noah, your host on this melodic journey. In each episode, we'll unravel the stories, lessons, and inspirations behind timeless hymns. Today, let's dive into the transformative melody of another hymn. So tune in, let the music embrace your spirit, and let's explore the hymns that shape our hearts. Greetings, dear listeners, and welcome back to another uplifting episode of Hymxhortation. I'm Olani Oluwatobi Noah, your guide on this musical journey through hymns. Today, we march forward with the iconic Battle Hymn of the Republic. Oh 
as we uncover the stirring history behind this beloved hymn, a rallying cry for justice and freedom. Penned by Julia Ward Howe during the American Civil War, the Battle Hymn of the Republic resonated deeply with the spirit of the times, uniting hearts with its powerful message of hope and righteousness. The Battle Hymn of the Republic is a powerful and iconic hymn that emerged during a pivotal moment in American history. Penned by Julia Ward Howe in November 1861, the hymn's creation was inspired by Howe's visit to a Union Army camp during the American Civil War. As Howe accompanied a Union Army brigade into Virginia, she was struck by the fervor and resolve of the soldiers who sang various marching songs as they prepared for battle. Among these tunes was John Brown's Body, a popular song among Union troops that celebrated the abolitionist John Brown. Moved by the scene and inspired by the melodies she heard, Howe was compelled to pen new lyrics that captured the spirit of the Union cause. Sitting in her hotel room at the Willard Hotel in Washington, D.C., Howe wrote the lyrics to what would become known as the Battle Hymn of the Republic. The hymn's lyrics draw heavily from biblical imagery, with references to themes of judgment, justice, and redemption. The opening lines, Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord, echo the prophetic visions of Old Testament prophets, while the repeated refrain of glory, glory, hallelujah evokes the exuberance of spiritual praise. Upon completion, Howe's poem was set to the tune of John Brown's Body, creating a powerful and stirring anthem that resonated deeply with Union soldiers and supporters. Its message of righteousness and freedom served as a rallying cry for the Union cause, inspiring courage and fortitude in the face of adversity. Over the years, the Battle Hymn of the Republic has become synonymous with the struggle for justice and freedom, and it continues to be performed at patriotic events, memorial services, and ceremonies honoring those who have fought for the ideals it represents. Its timeless message of hope and perseverance continues to resonate with audiences around the world, making it one of the most enduring hymns in American history. In our Hymn Insights segment, let's delve into the timeless themes woven into the fabric of this hymn. Explore the imagery of marching on to victory, guided by the light of truth and justice as we reflect on its relevance in today's world.
As we reflect on the stirring verses of the Battle Hymn of the Republic, let us be reminded of the enduring principles it embodies – righteousness, justice, and freedom. Just as Julia Ward Howe was inspired to pen these powerful words during a time of great turmoil and division, so too are we called to stand firm in our convictions and strive for a better tomorrow. Let the resounding refrain of glory, glory, hallelujah echo in our hearts as a testament to the triumph of righteousness over tyranny, of justice over oppression. May we draw strength from the courage and fortitude of those who have gone before us, who fought and sacrificed for the ideals we hold dear. In the face of adversity, let us march forward with unwavering resolve, guided by the light of truth and the promise of a brighter future. May the Battle Hymn of the Republic serve as a beacon of hope and inspiration, reminding us that even in our darkest hours, the cause of freedom is worth fighting for. As we go forth from this moment of reflection, may we carry with us the spirit of courage and conviction embodied in this timeless hymn. Let us strive to be champions of justice, defenders of liberty, and bearers of light in a world in need of healing and redemption. Glory, glory, hallelujah, amen. Pause with me now, dear listeners. Reflect on the call to stand firm in the face of injustice, guided by the eternal principles of truth and righteousness. Let the stirring verses of the battle hymn of the Republic ignite a flame of courage and conviction within your soul. Before we conclude, let's draw strength from a personal exhortation inspired by this hymn. May its powerful message of resilience and determination inspire us to press onward in our own battles for justice and freedom. Thank you for joining me on this poignant exploration of the Battle Hymn of the Republic. Until our next rendezvous, may its timeless melodies continue to inspire and embolden us on our journey. If you enjoyed this episode of Hymnxhortation, don't forget to subscribe and share the podcast with fellow seekers of inspiration. Your support means the world and helps us continue this harmonious exploration. For more hymn-filled conversations, connect with us on social media. Share your favorite hymns, stories, and reflections. You can find us on social media at Hymnxhortation. You can visit our website for more info at www.himxhortation.com. Embark on a daily journey of inspiration with the Himxhortation Daily Devotional Book, available now on Amazon.com. Elevate your mornings with soul-nourishing reflections inspired by timeless hymns. Visit Himxhortation.com and let the hymns guide your daily devotion. Himxhortation, where grace meets melody. Remember, as we journey through life, let the hymns be a constant companion, guiding and uplifting us. Until our next exploration, may your days be filled with the timeless melodies of faith, hope, and inspiration. This is Olani'i Oluwatobi Noah, signing off from Hymnxhortation. Stay tuned, stay inspired, and may your spirit be forever attuned to the melodies of grace. God bless.
Let 